Oh, well, aren't you looking adorable today? Stay there, let me get a picture real quick. Hmm, that's odd. Well, right now you look normal, but when I look at you through a mobile device, you get all weird. You must not be responsive. Hmm, good one. Responsive is a term applied to websites that automatically adjust their size and shape depending on the device that they're being viewed on. So no matter if it's being viewed on a computer, tablet, or smartphone, the website automatically resizes to fit. And it's surprisingly really simple to do so long as you know CSS and HTML. And if you don't know CSS or HTML, you can click here to watch my beginner series on making a website that covers those topics as well as SQL and JavaScript. It's the best way to waste a weekend, and I highly recommend watching it before continuing. The code you're seeing here is a simple website with simple CSS. And you can find this in a sample site on the project page found here. Now if I preview this in my browser, it's got an image, two columns, and some text. Not too shabby. Now to simulate our web page on other devices, you can shrink down your browser width. As you can see, this makes the website all wonky. That's because some of the website elements, such as the image, borders, and font, have set sizes that don't scale down whenever the browser gets smaller. To fix this, let's jump back to our code. Here you have all the CSS for the site. What would be nice is if we could make the CSS so that it changes whenever the size of the browser changes. But how can we do that? Well, in CSS3, there's a new functionality called Media Queries, represented like this. And its purpose is to execute specific CSS code only after certain requirements are met, such as browser size. So we can set this to watch for a maximum browser width of 480 pixels, which is the landscape width of the iPhone. Here are some other browser sizes for common portable devices. Now what we can do is place some adjusted CSS code inside this media script. Let's start with the logo image. By default it's 500 pixels wide. So to fit it appropriately in a mobile browser, let's decrease the width by half. Now if we refresh the page, you can see the image shrink. Then if we maximize the browser again, it goes back to its regular size. Likewise, we can add more new CSS code to adjust the main page width to 300 pixels. And we can also shrink the font for the menu and the content so that it fits better. These small tweaks work with my site, but you can rewrite your entire CSS to completely change the design of your web page for mobile devices. And just like that, you've got yourself a responsive site. Well, at least for mobile browsers. If you wanted to change the design for devices like the iPad, just make another media query set to the width of the iPad browser. To test how your site looks on multiple platforms, just go to this website and enter in your URL. Now you can tweak your media queries until you get the desired results. If you want a more in-depth look at media queries as well as some great resources, check out the project page at the link below. And if you have any questions or comments about this or any other Tinkernut videos, feel free to ask them in our chat or our forum. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.